All right. I want to look right now at World War III. Now, theoretically, we've had some sort of a solidifying factor and maybe a stabilizing of the timelines with the um, presidential election in the United States being over and there being a decisive winner. So let's just see if that matters. So we're looking at World War III. Did we stave this off or are we hurtling at it no matter what? So the root card is the Ace of Wands. Now, the Ace of Wands is the source of inspiration. It's the thing that you would love and care for as though it were a baby. Now, what I'm really getting out of this is that the concept of the World War is a source of passion and inspiration to somebody, right? Probably the fucking weapons manufacturers. So... The main card is the moon reversed. Now, the moon is about manipulation. The moon here, the figures are trying to fit in. They're trying to appear as other people appear. And you can see the strings here as they're being puppeted around. It's basically showing, I mean, really mind control and manipulation and all of this stuff. So the media, and this is just generally true of the, the current media, I think all over the world, this is just straight up manipulation, right? Now, when this card turns upside down, it's like the manipulation becomes so strong that people start to see it and they have to cut the strings. And I'm pretty sure you could look at the, the presidential election and see that that has begun to happen. People are starting to cut the strings of the media manipulation, theoretically. Let's just see what's on either side of this. The reversed Hierophant and the reversed Strength card. All right. So the Hierophant reversed is basically a backlash against tradition. And, I mean, I'm still seeing the election here because the, the, the Hierophant would be the establishment, right? And this is like the traditional way that things are done. And here we have a backlash against that. So that causes the strings to be cut. Now, again, you could look at media here because like uh, the internet and podcasters and YouTube and all of this, the non-traditional media, this is the backlash against the tradition. And this is what is causing all of the manipulative shit that comes from the main media sources and traditional media, those strings to be cut. Now, as it moves forward, we have a reversed strength card. And the strength card is basically setting yourself a task and, and just through powering through it and not giving up and all of that, a show of your will, it's accomplishing the thing. The strength card reversed is when the thing you were trying to accomplish was too powerful and like you couldn't actually do it not having the strength to accomplish your goals. Now, if we look back here to the Ace of Wands, so the concept of World War III being this baby that they are loving. So um, we've got the strings of manipulation being cut, the backlash against the establishment, and I guess World War III being something that they actually weren't able to pull off. Um, or at least if uh, what I'm seeing is the election here, you know, obviously when, when Trump won, that's not what the establishment wanted. Now, I'm seeing more election than war. So this is, this would say that the current trajectory would have us avoiding it, 
but I want to pull a card just to straight up find out if that is true. So on the current trajectory, are we going to avoid World War III? And we get a reverse Knight of Wands. Now, this isn't an avoidance. It is a hesitation. So the Knight of Wands is the impulsive energy that would move forward. It's literally a soldier, right? Um, and rather than the impulsive movement of the soldiers, we have this thing reversed, showing basically a hesitation of that impulse. So this is not um, an avoidance, it's a hesitation. So I guess this would mean that the energy is going to take longer. All right. So I'm going to pull a card for Ukraine right now and just that whole situation to see if that's about to escalate or if it's about to disappear. And we get a page of wands. Um, the page of wands, just because this is a page, right? This is very non-committal. The Page of Wands is a little kid, and little kid cards are not cards of commitment. So, what I mean, other than that, coming out of here, we have this little kid who's, like, balancing across this icy pond. I mean, he's trying to cross the icy pond, and he uses stilts. And it does show kind of a precarious situation, but the page as long as they believe in themselves, they're going to be fine. So as far as this showing up there, I think this would show optimism and hope. Um, definitely a precarious situation. This might also be a clue um, as to the season when shit would or would not hit the fan because there's ice that might be talking about winter. But when I look at that, I think that's a hopeful sign for that situation. So we'll look at Israel and we get the emperor. So um, this is a card of control um, and it would basically say that on the Israel side, they would kind of control what happens. Huh. So let's just see what they're looking at. And they're looking at the high priestess. So the emperor looking at the high priestess. This is controlling. The high priestess is spiritual energy. It's also hidden and secret and all of this. Um, but this would show controlling an energy that is hidden. Um, and, and that it's like all the cards are not on the table. Even though if you look at it on the surface, it seems like it's just like trying to create war with everyone around them. The high priestess would say that all of the cards are not on the table. This one, if the great war starts from there, it would be because that's exactly what they wanted to happen. Um so the ball would be in their court, so to speak. It isn't a clear yes or no, um, because especially here with the high priestess, there's like something that's hidden. There's a, a piece of it that we cannot see. So that isn't a clear yes or no. But I guess let's just see a, a wild card when it comes to war. What do we get? And this could be, you know, unforeseen stuff, any other country that's about to erupt into war or whatever. And we get this Six of Pentacles reversed. Now, in the Six of Pentacles, it's about giving to something that you cannot change. Like here, the person's giving the pentacle to the ghost. No matter how many pentacles they give to the ghost, nothing will ever change there. So it's, it's like throwing resources down a bottomless pit. When this thing is upside down, this is more like theft than generosity. So it would show an old thing 
that, um, I mean, theoretically, it, it would be the recipient of aid, right? Uh, so it would probably be a situation where a bunch of aid has been given to a thing, then it just never changes, you know. But here, there is like theft involved. It's more like taking than it is giving. So that'll be interesting to see how that shakes out. But this looks more like a great crime than um, literally like an attack or anything like that. Um, but it would be some sort of theft. Maybe that would cause, you know, some other country or whatever to want to go to war. But this would be like a thing that would maybe eventually lead up to it. But I'm not seeing an attack here. Which is theoretically good news. So on the World War III front, we have one energy that maybe wanted it to happen and failed. And uh, then we have one aspect of hope and then another has aspect of a hidden agenda and total control. So that's what we have. I would love to hear what you think about this and peace.